Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Cool Pixel Designs. Today, let's we have to see about a tutorial in the Photoshop how to manage your colors inside the photograph and how to change the colors inside the photographs specific colors or the contrast brightness colors and the hue saturations vibrance whatever it is so let's take a look on the example one so i have a bunch of photographs from here all the stock images link in the description will be there so you can download and you can use it for your own use so let's talk about this picture the subject is very cool and the small smart child the skin and everything will be looks very great and those leaves are the background is somewhat blurry is something will be there but the picture is not fine yet good one so i take a new duplicate layer by pressing the control j or command j on your mac okay kindly learn the photoshop shortcuts that would be very useful for your workflow with speed and uh, its maximum uses on your workflow so press the control shift a or command shift a to activate the camera raw filter then it comes to you here when you bring up the shadows what type of you can see from here like this see the under the hat these areas the black hair actually it's a brown hair it's not a black hair so we can increase the shadows a little a maximum of this then i bring back the highlights what it will be happening all those things it will be comes from here so i just put down this line then i bring the exposure if you click from here or here the lower one or the upper one it will show where you are affecting the exposure or something the exposure is overloaded right so i bring back the exposure a little bit not much more only a little bit only the temperature of the photograph is very fine and everything will be there so we don't touch the temperature or the tint one so the clarity we will find it very much more see this once i click here the skin and everything of the subject is going into rough means you bring back the clarity back side push back or push the clarity like this it will get into a sharpen picture okay i push it into minus 10 a very little one then i press command 0 or control 0 to make fit inside the work area the picture then it comes from here to take to the tone curve increase the highlights a little bit not much more thing and these are the lights from your scenery or the behind light or the back light or the focusing light whatever we things we can control the lights from here i adjust the light back big four i kick it out actually so minus 20 or something from here for this picture then i comes into the saturation level hsl all the dresses and the skin and everything will be very good but the green leaves are a little bit blurry and the dull image will be there so i bring back the green much more saturated in the picture okay then you bring to the hue if you touch the green so what will be happening it goes into golden yellow so all the leaves are what we say it's not a green leaves it's going into something older so i turned into like a golden one because it comes into fallen like this then i kick the aqua to the back so the greens it will looks like so much if you like to work with the face or something one push the red to the back or push this one 
not here change into the split or the highlights check it out that one is very real right only i push uh, 10 points only that is very good so i press zero like this then you press this once so before and after okay like this so once you before like this and so i checked like this that is very cool right so this picture is going into very smooth and the color corrections everything will be over in a single click of the camera or filter this is very good then the second one i choose this when you go here i press ctrl j to take the duplicate on this one if you like to change the color for the specific one how to do so i take the duplicate layer and this is the background one from that duplicate layer you can check image adjustments replace color okay or or else you can come here you can check down from here right once i go there adjustments replace color and this is the dialog uh, once you click the replace color this pop-up window will be comes up and these are the samplers and this is the add to the sample and this is to the minus to the sample that means subtract from the sample once i click the eyedropper tool i click into the choose the selection or the image you can i choose the selection what we are selected we can see this okay i i choose the petals okay then i click the subtract one i subtract the background of this ones so once i hit the only one color is selected to further resolution try to the fuzziness stupid thing once i click the uh, actually getting into the preview like this so i check the once this dialog box will be popped out these are the things are samplers this is sampler this is add to sample and this is subtract on the sample that means you can deselect from the samples once i click the eyedropper tool and i click this once the petals this is the hue saturation and the lightness and this is very literally i have some one you can change this once you click this the magic will be happen you can change the colors of the petals of the flowers on everything that will be very cool if you like this please hit the like button on this video and please share the video and this is the saturation things once you bring back the lightness the colors of the petals and everything will be comes into the real world of the colors like this <laughs> i love these greens and yellows and these colors also a light orange and this is the great orange and everything so the fuzziness it will become center if you turn the localized colors it will be the messiness around the color mixing is going into fine so i click the open one and this is before and this is the after we choose this ones so this is the very much useful function inside the photoshop then you come back from here press ctrl 0 or command 0 to make the fitness inside the area press command j to take the duplicate on this press the image replace color once you select the red i change into somewhat another color from here and this is the magical happenings inside the picture that is very cool so the final one you can select this and you can operate from the portrait like this picture means press ctrl j to the duplicate on this i press ctrl shift a to activate the camera raw filter in that camera raw filter first select the subject face and everything press the clarity down to make skin smoother 
then I press Ctrl 0 to fit it once I come back to the sharpening area I press the details very much greater to this so for the portrait the details is very important in my point of view I like this the color choosing the details and everything so much clarity and the clear ones then I come back to here take the radial filter choose the subject phase only once I press from here I play around the exposure level not much more so minus 9 that will be very great and comes to the gradient filter you can take down the filter to the half of the way of the picture then you bring back the exposure a little bit up okay then I bring back the whites much more why because these areas are covered by the subject or the model so then again the second one radial filter I just make into the same path like this then I bring down the a little bit of a blacks why because the behind the subject behind that area with going into the darker one then only the subject will be exposed beautifully in the picture so if you like this it's not a famous one right so if you like these ones the subject will be going into very much beautiful inside the lights and everything will be there so I just do this then I click OK so when I completed this see this this is the before and this is the after one we just take the control the color of the pictures for the portrait also so if you love these videos and everything please hit the like button and subscribe my channel comment me of your thoughts everything forget the language I'm not expert in the native English speaker so thank you for watching this video bye bye see you on the next one